This might be one of the stupidest things I've ever attempted to do, uh, but I'm going to do it anyway because I have the next few days free. I don't have any obligations for the next few days, and it, I won't have another opportunity to do something like this for a long, long time. And I don't want to do something like this again. This is the only time I want to do it. But my plan was to try to stay up for 60 hours, 48 plus the, the extra 10 or 12 it'll take to get to the evening again. So I don't want to go the full seven. I don't want to go a full 72 because I just feel like that might be a bit too much, but I'm going to really try to push for 60 and, uh, I don't know. I'm even hoping for 48, you know, but the idea is that <laughs> I'm hoping that I will experience some weird shit, like some weird hallucinations and shit. I don't know. Just seems like a very, uh, from what I've read and from the stories I've heard of people that have stayed up, it, uh, your brain just starts to kind of melt and it starts to become very difficult to distinguish uh, reality from your head. So, fuck it, let's do it. 11.54 a.m., I woke up at uh, somewhere around 9, and yeah, we're three hours in. I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. All right, so it's currently uh, 4.01 p.m., and I'm getting a little bit tired. So I think I'm going to drink some caffeine, and uh, I'm going to play some, some Lego Batman. Um, as you can see, I only have 26 minutes in this game. I've never really played the game. So now seems like a good time. <laughs> you probably beat it. Uh, I think it's somewhere around 10 to 15 hours. Uh, and I definitely have 10 to 15 hours to kill. And more. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> okay. Uh, change of plans. Now it's time to play Garfield Kart with Russell. Yeah! So it's currently uh, 9.08 p.m. Um, and I played Garfield Kart with Russell. And when we were done, we chilled for a bit. And then uh, I, was, I played Lego Batman. And I got a, an hour in, and there was a glitch in it that was kind of pissing me off. And I think the PC port is just kind of whack. And I just was like, I don't want to keep dealing with this issue over and over again. Especially as my cognitive ability declines. So um, instead of playing Lego Batman all night, I think we are going to play Plants vs. Zombies all night. This is a game I think I could play all night. Um, it's just like, you know, there's a little bit of strategy, but it's also just clicking. And I've played it several times before. So, yeah, it should be fine. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll check back in uh, in a few hours. All right, it is currently um, 1.55 a.m. I'm, I'm a little tired, but I'm going to drink some more caffeine soon. Um... I was talking with my homies for a bit, so I didn't actually get super far yet in Plants vs. Zombies. I'm on stage three now, but uh, I should definitely be able to beat this tonight. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back to some Plants vs. Zombies. Okay, so now it's almost six in the morning, and uh, I'm definitely tired, so I have some more caffeine here. Uh, and the other thing is that I have beaten Plants vs. Zombies. So, yeah. I have no idea what the hell I'm gonna do next, but time to figure it out. Alright, almost 8 in the morning. I just watched Killer Clowns from Outer Space. <laughs> and I'm probably gonna go on a bike ride. I'm definitely feeling loopy. I'm getting close to 24 hours. I have no idea how long I'm going to last. I could see myself passing out at the end of today. Uh, it'd be cool to make it last a little longer, but... If I really need to fucking sleep, my body will just, you know... <laughs> um, alright, but hopefully this bike ride will wake me up. Alright. It's getting harder and harder to stay awake. 
and I don't know if caffeine is even really helping. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, at the very least, try to make it to the end of today, and uh, maybe call it quits like 40 hours in. I don't know, we'll have to see, man. I'm really struggling, and uh, I don't even know what the fuck to do next. I don't, like, I've, I've got a couple movies in mind, but I am running out of fucking steam, bro. Like, it's 2.52 p.m., um, and I'm a little less tired than I was earlier. Um, I'm getting pretty, uh, pretty low on this, so I might have to buy another one of those, but I think if I get another Rockstar, I might be able to push myself the full 60 hours. I'm hitting the 30-hour mark in seven minutes, so, and I'm, you know, I'm tired, but I'm not, like, on the verge of passing out, so if I can just figure out some more shit to do for the next, you know, day and a half, uh, that should be good. We're gonna try. Alright, it's, uh, 7.30 almost, and, uh, I'm on my way to get another rock star because I ran out and I need more caffeine. But uh, on the bright side, I don't really feel super exhausted. I'm mostly grabbing the caffeine for later on when I do hit that point where I just can't keep going. So, um, yeah, I'll let you know uh, any further updates in this adventure. 9.08 p.m., which means I've officially hit the 36-hour mark. I've got my Rockstar ready, and I'm probably going probably gonna to do a voice chat with some buddies for a few hours. And, uh, and just go from there, you know. So far, I haven't really noticed anything super crazy mentally. I mean, I feel a little fatigued and a little tired, but I think probably by the morning time, I'll start having some pretty strange sensations. So I'll keep checking back in. Uh, yeah. All right, it's uh, almost 3 in the morning, and uh, I've been up about 41 and a half hours or so so we're making some pretty decent progress um i'm tired but again not quite at that level of like passing out and the caffeine is definitely helping with that so um yeah i was planning on playing through uh the lost and damn dlc for gta 4 since that should take me like six to eight hours that should occupy some time and uh i'm I definitely think I'll get to the 48 hour mark. I don't know if I'm gonna push myself to 60, but the only reason I say that is because tomorrow night, um, my buddies are gonna be playing cards. And if I'm completely delirious playing cards and I get zero sleep whatsoever, that might not be very good. So we'll see, I have to, re it really depends on how I feel. Like I feel in the next, few hours once it starts to dip into like the 50 hour mark I think things are going to get pretty interesting <laughs> so I'm halfway done with the lost and damned and I'm going to take a break for a bit and then I'm going to finish the second half I'm starting to get pretty fucking tired I'm not going to lie it's getting pretty hard to concentrate on the game so uh, whenever the lost and damned is finished probably just gonna settle into watching stuff for the rest of the time assuming I don't pass out so it's, it's 8 a.m. now which means I've been doing this for 47 hours um, and I think I'm probably gonna try to go until 2 or 3 o'clock that way I can get just a little bit of sleep in for that card game tonight um, because I'm already, like, now I'm getting to the point, I was playing some more GTA, and, dude, the, I was, like, fading in and out of the game, and, like, the sounds were kind of, like, swooshing around, and it was just, my perception is starting to become increasingly fucked. <laughs> so, and, uh, it is getting really hard to stay awake. So, I'm gonna finish the rest of this, and try to make it a few more hours. 
So I just beat the Lost and Damn DLC, and I think uh, I think now I'm gonna watch the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, earlier, like yesterday, I think I, I watched a fistful of dollars and a few dollars more. So today I'm gonna finish the trilogy. And uh, by the time this movie's over, because it's like three fucking hours long, it'll be 12.30, 1 o'clock, so by then I'll decide if I'm gonna go all the way to 60 or shut down so I can get a little bit of rest. I'll have to see. Alright, so I made it all the way to 1, and then I took a nap. I just couldn't, uh, just couldn't keep up. I woke up, and I'm still fucking exhausted, and I'm still in a whack-ass state of consciousness, and, uh, it'll be really interesting to play cards tonight, because I'm not going back to sleep until later tonight, like, 11 or 12, so, oh man, <laughs> all right. You probably can't see me super well, but it's uh, 7.59, and I just pulled up to the homies, and it's time to play some cards. <laughs> Alright, I'm back from the poker game. 12 or 6 a.m. I know this might sound fucking insane, but I've honestly really been thinking that I might try staying up one more night and just seeing what happens, man. Because I really, I think I might have enough strength to push through a little bit more. I think that nap, I, you know, it was like a couple hours. Honestly, if I didn't take that, I'd probably already be asleep. But I'm really sleep deprived <laughs> and uh, I'm feeling, I'm like dipping into like loony territory and that's kind of the interesting part of it, you know. I, I will not go past tomorrow night. I, that's my absolute cap for my own health and safety because I don't want to, I don't want to die. I don't want to do, I want to, I don't want to do or, or risk my health even and go to the hospital just for something that's like. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be careful. I'm gonna drink lots of water, and if I really need to pass the fuck out, I will. But yeah, man, I don't know. I'm gonna go a little longer. All right, it's now 7:38 a.m. Um, I'm definitely feeling pretty loopy, you know, like even the, like despite that two-hour nap. You know, I think it rejuvenated my energy just enough to be able to play the poker game. But I don't think that it has really done too excellent of a job at staving off the effects of sleep deprivation. You stay up for long enough and an hour or two isn't going to fix it. you got to have like a full like 12 to 14 hours to just like recuperate. And... Uh, I can just feel my cognitive abilities declining further. It is a tremendous effort for me to string together words in sentences. And I can only imagine that between now and 9 p.m., which is my absolute cutoff for my own health, not even what I'm, like, it's not even, uh, like, about my ability, what I'm capable of. I probably, who knows what I can do. It doesn't matter. That's not even the point. Uh, once I get to 9 o'clock this evening, I'm calling it, I'm calling it quits. And I'm going to fuck to sleep. This has been a wild journey. Like, I just haven't, the last three nights, I stayed up the entirety of it. And it's just, this has been the longest day ever. <laughs> 
the delirium is progressing rapidly and I am drowning in a sea of mysterious consciousness so it's 4 16 p.m. Uh, I managed to sleep around four hours earlier and uh, I don't know, I'm a little more recovered, but I'm still sleep deprived. I think in the past 90-ish hours, I've slept six, so I wish I would have not slept at all, but then I wouldn't even be up right now. Like, I don't know, it's like I, I don't know what I was expecting from this. I don't know what the hell, I, was, I don't know, I just thought it would be entertaining, and uh, it was. Uh, I'll be able to reflect on it a lot more, I think, tomorrow. Like, right now, I'm just kind of in recovery mode. So, yeah, I'll give some more of my thoughts when I'm in a better state of mind, I think, you know. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to fix my sleeping schedule tonight. You can see the look in his eyes changed after he won as many rings as he did. When he got number five. In the shadow of the valley. pretty fucking tired and I can't wait to fucking actually get a decent amount of sleep tonight it's gonna be awesome I'm gonna try to make it to 11 or 12 and then I'm, I'm passing the fuck out <laughs> learn anything from this experience um i mean not anything that i didn't already know just yeah like obviously depriving yourself of sleep is gonna make you feel weird and it's gonna have some negative effects uh on your health and on your state of mind um i didn't actually have any crazy um hallucinations or anything like that despite how many hours I actually stayed awake for, but, um, it was still an experience, and, uh, I probably wouldn't ever do it again. <laughs>